The Thrustmaster Hotas Warthog is one of the best prosumer joysticks on the market and a good choice for working with mace. This video will show you how to configure your Warthog. In order for your Warthog to work correctly, you will need to run the custom target profile. To do that, start the target GUI program. Click Run Configuration and choose Mace Dot .fcf Then minimize the program. Start up Mace. Click View, then Settings. Click on the Joystick tab. Type in the name of the profile you want in the field and press Enter. Click Program to begin configuring the buttons. Starting from the top, for the flight model, move the joystick. For the thrust, move the throttle. Select Next Weapon is the Master Mode button on the side of the joystick. Release Weapon is the Pickle button on the top. Shoot Guns is the trigger first detent. Extend speed brake is a forward movement of the speed brake button. Retract speed brake is a backward movement of the speed brake button. I'll note here that there are two different modes. One is for an air platform, the other is for a ground platform. If you're controlling an aircraft, this button will command the speed brakes. If you're an infantryman, this will change the zoom on your scope. Toggle landing gear is the left throttle button. The dispense ECM is a forward movement of the CMOS. Release joystick control is the paddle on the front of the joystick. Trim and character stance are the movement of the trim switch. Rudder is configured with a different joystick. Camera control is the slew control on the throttle. Zoom is up on the Demus. Zoom out is down on the Demus. Designate tar target is up on the Demus. Slew to target is to the right. Lay's target is down, and lastly, Boresight is to the left. Now you're finished. Test out your configuration to ensure everything is working correctly.